Hi, I'm making a video today about something I just did earlier that boggled my mind, the, the problem and the solution. And when you hear what went wrong and what type of car it was, you're going to have a new outlook on modern cars. So my friend has a 2014 Challenger RT 6B car. Cool car, but the window uh, sensor to drop the window down so you can open and close the door because the window goes up in the window seal on that car and you can't open the door with the window all the way up so it drops it so you can open and close this this is the assembly that controls all that this one giant it's actually the lock mechanism when this fails and it's the second one he's put in his car. And we live in Florida where, honestly, the weather isn't that bad. You may look, there's no corrosion or anything on this. It's actually very nice looking. And that's just telling me a lot about it's not built very well. So I, cha I changed it out in 50 minutes and, and it was easy. It's designed to fail. And they they made it so you could just walk and take it out, change it out. Now the parts fifty dollars you buy from the manufacturer, original manufacturer, from the from Stellantis. This thing is three hundred bucks, three hundred dollars. And there's no fixing it. There's all little. I mean, some screw things, but it's all electronics inside, and it doesn't look serviceable. And so, you know, I, I want you to comment if you actually if you dealt with something where you had a part like this, that basically the car becomes useless, because what happens with this is that when this goes bad, it will make the window go up and down all night long. All day long, it will kill the battery. If you disconnect it, you can't open the door because the windows up in the in the seal. So there there's the rub on this thing. So I'm going to show you, though, because this is not a new phenomenon. This, this 95, see this 95, this 95 BMW here? 95 BMW, right? 95. 30 years old. Watch. Window drops down. Window goes up. Simple. But you now you're going, oh, but Dennis, you know, that one still works. You know, that still works. What, why, what, what, what's so bad about the Challenger one? That car is controlled by a micro switch. There's two of them. One for the inside, outside handle, one for the inside handle. When the handle's pulled, the switch gets, the, um, here gets set off. This is from a BMW mirror, uh, X5 mirror. Uh, but same principle. And it goes to the body module, and then it drops the window down, and you close it. So the input is just, is that micro switch. And micro switches, when they go bad, they just break. They don't they don't lock closed and make the make it constantly do its thing. Yes, the micro switch. Now I'm going to show you. There's a I have a I have a uh, diagram of the micro switch for that 95. It shows you how simple it is, and it shows the micro switches where they are. I have it circled over there. Okay. But yeah, so now, so you know, with this, there is no way to fix it. There's no way to replace it. And because you can't open and close the doors, or you have to leave the window down, when this doesn't come, when this comes no longer available, the cars are junk. And there's no way around it. Because you either that or you got to have a home sprung business of people that figure out how to rebuild these. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to use those challengers. I imagine Mustangs are the same way. I imagine a lot of cars are the same way, but I don't know if they have the complexity that the Stellantis FCA car has with this whole assembly and I imagine they never change it because they never changed the Hemi tick. So why would they bother fixing this? So, you know, what this really kind of 
may settle in is that these modern cars, the collectability on them is pretty low to almost zero because silly things like this assembly, like this assembly can break making the car useless. And there's a lot of those in these cars. The 95, the 89 BMW, yes, they have computers and they're OBD1, very simple computers. The stuff can be repaired. I mean, I know people that actually do rebuild that stuff. And it's the computer stuff's easy. It's these sensor parts that are killer, absolutely killer to a thing. Because there's no way for somebody just to make this. And, there's, and you need cores and you have to figure out how... There, there's no way to easily redo this. Not like a computer. Computer's very simple. You know, the charger has an electronic ignition in there. That's why the, the, the cars from the, 60, the 50s, 60s, and 70s, or first half of the 70s, are so collectible because they're, they're repairable. And you can keep, unless something major happens to them, they can keep on going. And yes, I do have, you know, a 2016 truck. And yes, it has issues, but it doesn't have issues like the Challenger does. Because there is no one assembly on there that would make it not usable. Everything can be worked around on that truck that can go bad. I, I just, I, I, I find it, you know, I just find it insane. So, you know, I want to hear your thoughts on these uh, people hoarding Hellcats and, you know, demons and you know, all these special edition cars trying to stick them away and then sell them for big money. I mean, honestly, when the warranty runs out and the parts stop getting made because FCA or Stellantis, Stellantis, only has to make this for seven years after they stop using it. So, you know, the clock may be ticking on this part already. And in seven years, you may not be able to get that part for your demon or your Hellcat. And then what? And then you have to find somebody to try to rebuild it for you. And, you know, and I have a feeling that's going to cost more than $300. Because it's not cheap for people to rebuild things. So, I, I'm really really trying to put some light to these modern cars and these people hoarding them thinking they're their future collectors because i know somebody has a 2010 challenger and, and thinks it's some sort of massive collectible it isn't it's going to have the same problem as this as that 2014. It, you know a couple electronics break on it it's basically a paperweight and that's not even including the hemi tick or all the other things that happen to them this is just something silly and stupid so I hope you got something out of this. If you did, you know, like it, subscribe, because then you get to see other car stuff in your feed. You know, share it to your friends. Share it to your friends that actually try to hoard these cars to kind of let them have a thought process that maybe they're doing something wrong. Just go out there and drive the hell out of it. Because, you know, take your car out and drive it. Like this Charger or my BMWs. Because you'll make someone's day, and maybe even your own, and I'll catch you down the road.